Hello, I'd like to talk to you today about how to back up to a trailer yourself. Okay, so maybe you want to use your mirrors. Some people may want to do that. Um, if you notice, here's my license tag. And what I like to do is, if you notice above my license tag, there is a metal point. You can actually use that if you want to, to help you line up. You may not have to, but just a little tip for you guys. So maybe you want to use your mirrors. You know, it can be helpful maybe to use your mirrors, maybe in that, but just figure out what works for you. Okay, so here we go. And when you're going, you may want to try to put it in a, into a straight line with it. So if I'm driving this way, right? And all of a sudden I start turning. If you want to, you can use your mirror or look behind you or whatever, but here we go. And you see when it, you only see part of it. Check that mirror, that mirror, okay. So it doesn't look like we're lined up exactly straight, but let's just try this out. You don't want to go too fast. Okay, you want to go kind of slow, just in case you make a mistake. Um, if you go too far, you don't want to hurt your vehicle. If you do hurt it, you want minimal damage. So just kind of go like this. Um, it's probably pretty close. Let's see where we are at. Okay, so what's that? Maybe a maybe a foot. So let's see if we're lined up. Um, not quite, but I should be able to move this trailer by hand. So if I'm about a foot back, right, let's go ahead and, let me show you a little trick here. Um, go ahead and put this tool down. So I got the tool down on the ground. Let me put my foot about a foot away. And then I can back up and kind of know the distance I'm traveling see that okay so let's go back here let's see where we're at all right now if this was a much heavier trailer you know I might need to adjust it more but for right here I need to lift this right and I should be able to just move the trailer back and let's go ahead and uh, start bringing it down and I'm, I need to probably shift the trailer maybe a little bit more let's go ahead and just move it whoa and a little too much um, this is not the best trailer stand what I have here you might want to use a concrete block preferably a concrete block that is filled in with concrete Maybe a wooden block. Okay. So, I'm going to jack it up. Once it is jacked up, we want to push this down. And it's nice if you stick something in it to lock it. Now, let's take this. It's kind of a. I'm going to come out. Give it the good old fashioned kick. Okay. Now, we need to hook up the trailer chains. Now, if your trailer chains are too long, you do not want them dragging on the ground. So, you might want to try twisting the chains. Okay. So, twist, 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 twist. Some people may even want to cross the chains. So, okay, twist, twist. But you don't want them dragging. So here we go, and here is the electric wire. Um, let's go ahead and plug this in. Okay, so we got the lights plugged in, we got the chains on, uh, we get, whoa, it's not good to have a screw on the ground. So let's go ahead and uh, put this in and shut this and let's not forget the tool I put on the ground so guys I hope you enjoyed the video hopefully you learned something um, you know if you don't have it quite down just keep practicing guys I really appreciate you watching please give this video a thumbs up 
if it was helpful to you and have a great day and consider subscribing. Thank you so much.